so hi friend this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so in this video I will talk about J advanced 2021 and here I will provide you all you need to know about this examination as you also know the exam will take place on 3rd of October so here I will provide you the document required for the registration of J advanced eligibility criteria who can appear who cannot appear in the J advanced examination and and what is the fee you have to pay for the registration that is category wise I will provide and I will also talk about the schedule that you need to follow for J advanced examination I will also talk about the different type of reservation male female category reservation pwd reservation foreign candidate reservation so all those reservation i will talk here and i will also talk about the very important information that is whether there will be a pwd checking that is whether there will be a medical board in the iit's college for checking the pwd candidate whether they are eligible for pwd seat or not because this is very important question so all those things i will talk in this video so please try to watch the video till the end and if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe channel so that you will get all the update about J advanced J means and other counseling other entrance exam also in this channel only later days also I will provide you all type of short video related to J advanced examination update USA counseling update so all those information you will get here in this channel only so please try to subscribe this channel and one more very important information that is as you also know the J means is over now so now it is very important to do the counseling very carefully because in previous year I have seen many students the mistake and due to that even after getting the rank good percentile they didn't able to get the seat that they were looking for so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person for the counseling if you don't have you can contact me anytime so that i will guide you for all the counseling not only josa but other than josa if you do any other counseling also that i will guide you this year and, and it will be my responsibility to provide you the best out of your rank that you will score in each counseling not only josa and after all the counseling uh, that is again a most important question that is where you have to join whether you should go with this nit or that nit this branch or that branch branch whether you should go with a top private college or top NIT or lower NIT so all those things is very confusing for the student and once you do any type of mistake and it is obvious if you don't have experience you can take the wrong decision and once you take wrong decision it is very difficult for you in the four years and you might regret later so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me anytime through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box so that I can provide you the counseling guidance starting from choice spelling till your admission is done and I will guide you for everything once you register with me so, so if you need counseling guidance then only use my insta or whatsapp because for that you have to register with me then i will guide you for everything so let's start this video so now i will talk about the main points that you should keep in mind for j advanced examination so here are those so for registration you have to pay the 2800 for general student and 1400 for uh, all category female student as well as for other reserved can candidate it is only 1400 you have to pay so next is total to 50,000 student will be eligible who have appeared in JE mains examination will be eligible for the J advanced examination and there is and distribution that from general there will be around 1 lakh a student and from EWS there will be around 20,000 students so all those things you can check in the website also you can check in the site also that I have provided also the student who have missed the J advanced examination 2020 due to any reason they can appear in 2021 J advanced without clearing the J mains examination so next is total 23 IIT and 5 other colleges you can get by J advanced examination advanced advanced score will be applicable to all those 28 colleges that is 23 IIT and 5 other colleges that is IISC Bangalore and similarly there are 4 other colleges that accept J advanced, uh, J advanced rank. So what is the cutoff mark? So you can now uh, you can check the cutoff. Uh, I have listed sidewise, uh, and you can also check in the official website. That is what will be the cutoff. That is not the J mains cutoff, but it is it is the cutoff that you have to uh, score at least uh, in, in order to be eligible for the rank list of J advanced uh, examination. That is the marks that you have to uh, score at least in the J advanced examination to be a part of rank list. So counseling of all the colleges will be done together. It is not like first J mains has happened. So uh, J mains counseling will be done. Then after J advanced will be done. It is not like that. All all the counseling will be done counseling. together that is from 16th of October JOSA counseling registration will start and after that all type of college you can get through JOSA counseling only and, and after that there will be a, another counseling that is CSAB but after the JOSA counseling so this is all about the main point about the J advanced examination so, so now I will talk about the reservation so try to listen it very carefully and uh, here is the general AWS reservation is 10% OBC 27% SC 15% and ST 7.5% and PWD try to listen it carefully 
for PWD a student the reservation is 5% in each category suppose if you are from general EWS then there will be 5% from that uh, seat uh, for uh, PWD candidate that is general EWS PWD, uh, PWD and, and remaining seat will be considered for the general candidate so it is very advisable to do the counseling very carefully because there are so many reservation and uh, especially for the PWD candidate it is very advisable to take the help of uh, any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me anytime through the Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box because counseling is very important and there is not so much information available for counseling because it is all about the experience and the student don't have experience so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person so yeah so this is about the reservation so next female reservation will be 20% at least as you also know in every IIT there is female reservation quota also so 20% seats would be filled by a female and there can be more than that but at least 20% will be there and next foreign reservation will be 10% the student who are in foreign and they have applied for J advanced examination there is 10% reservation for that also and defense service reservation is also there that is two seat in each courses foreign but a study in India those student will be considered as a general candidate of India uh, similar to general candidate who are uh, who are Indian so those student also will be considered as general candidate so next that is the most important point about the IIT admission that is PWD verification so there will be a medical board in IIT uh, at the time of admission and they will analyze your uh, disability is, is it correct or not and according to that they will uh, they will permit you for the admission so this is very important information right. try to listen it carefully and I will provide you this information again and again through short video also so that every student can know about this because there is some fraud also in in this type of thing but I respect all those students of PWT who have the disability because they are pursuing their uh, study even but after they, they have some problem with their body but there are there are some fraud also in the name of PWD uh, so they check the degree of disability uh, for in the student uh, and after that they will allow the admission yeah. so now, now let me talk about the document and eligibility so this is also an important point so class 10 certificate or admit card or any uh, any certificate which yeah. will provide. provide the date of birth detail for you will be a, uh, will be required at the time of registration and class 12 certificate also and uh, respective category certificate also if you are from general EWS or OBC SCST so those category certificate will be required and the PWD Performa if you are from PWD then you have to download the Performa from website you will get and there is three different whatever applicable for you you have to you have to fill that with the help of government hospital and there should be a stamp of government hospital on that and you have to upload that and so the student who have passed uh, passed the class 12th examination in 2020 or 2021 they are eligible for the examination and there is one more thing written in the in the information brochure that the student whose result has been announced after june uh, 2019 those students are also eligible for the examination you can read the information brochure also regarding this so next is a no 75 marks criteria this year and uh, cutoff should be clear is the cutoff should be clear to be appear in the J advanced examination and uh, to register for the J advanced examination that is the J mains cutoff and that is a different for different type of category I have already provided the expected cutoff is, it is clearly mentioned that if a foreign student apply for J advanced they don't need to clear the J mains examination. So this is all about the J advanced examination 2021 hope you find this video very useful I have tried to provide you all the information but I will, I will consider some more information in my next video and through short video I will try to provide the update again and again day by day so that you will be updated about the examination if there is any any important update regarding the examination. So thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe the channel and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information and one more time I would like to inform you that as the J mains examination is over now so all the students are looking for counseling and there are so many different counseling across India that will accept the J means a score so all the thing I will provide you and I will guide you starting from choice spelling till your admission is done once you register with me so if you need counseling guidance you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box but if you need then only because for that you have to register with me so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe